sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. All right, Fuzz Pie Guy here. You're looking at the No Elect Variable Gain Amplifier. Now, this is a digital and analog amplifier for uh, RF or SDR. So, this thing has a lot going on with it by looking at it here. We have an analog and digital uh, outputs. There's the back of it. This can be powered three different ways, recommended by the bias T, but it can be powered by the bias T, the micro SD, or these little pins, two pin connector there. The, uh, has the knob and the buttons here for, uh, for your digital outputs. Comes with a voltmeter, little display, <clears throat> and you hook them wires up to the uh, VCC ground and VC. Or if we turn it around here. So we got the red on VCC, black on ground, and yellow on VC. <clears throat> and that will display the voltage depending on the gain of the uh, amplifier. Now this amplifier has a 46 dB maximum gain. It's a 50 ohm RF gain block. And uh, like I said, these buttons here, switches, are your digital out digital controls do one two three four five six then this is your analog digital button here to switch in between these or the rotary frequency range of 30 megahertz minimum to 4,000 megahertz maximum with a center frequency of 1985. So, now this unit does come with a little bit of a price tag, but uh, which obviously makes sense because of what it's able to do. And it's made in the USA. So, here on their website, now I'll link it, uh, I'll put the link in the description to my website for some pictures in the video of this, but also I'll uh, upload the uh, data sheet of this, because it doesn't come with nothing, and you can download the PDF from their website, but we'll uh, just throw it on mine to make it a little easier, and uh, Figured I'd just share this, and these little buttons obviously go on the switches, but I haven't done that yet because <clears throat> I'm gonna mount it to this little piece of plastic I had laying around. I drilled some holes, added some standoffs, and uh, I wanna solder on some terminals to plug it into the connector here, and we'll mount this on top of here like such. So it doesn't get damaged because we don't want nothing short now or causing interference or issues since this is a bare bone and it doesn't have a case but I'm sure you can uh, 3d print one or just kind of do something like this so anyway like I said I'll throw a link in the description and uh, maybe I'll do another video of this in action and uh, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for another one.